somebody from another nation, oh, right? Could be, could be Israelite form. We don't know. Could be, could be. I, I thought he was a, a, a Italian when oh, the way like the way that. he spoke. Okay, but you, you know, like you said, you know, uh, he could be a foreign Israelite. <laughs> you know, and the <laughs> YouTube world ain't gonna like that. Yeah, or he could be an Edomite. Oh yeah, but hey, at least that he knows the truth. At least he sees things that's open here in America. See what's going on in Ukraine, Russia with the Porsche with the airline. He got and like family he said, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, like your family said, you know, say that's bullshit, man. You know, they cover it up. The same thing, don't be here in America, cover shit up. Yeah, and who pushing that CNN? But like we've been saying about that plane, we said it. You could have been America who shot down that damn plane, man. But they saying all oh, this Russia that Russia that. So that this third world war brewing is brewing because America's on a slander campaign. That's so you can't believe nothing the media says, man. You know what I'm saying? Talking about Michael Brown and the cigarette. You don't even know if that's true, man. We don't know, man. This white man, if he lied about the Lord being black, um, being a white man, what else he's lying about, man? You got to question everything. And, and you know what? A lot of people convinced. You know, back then, I mean, a lot of people started to wake up, but you got the white Jesus Christ in the house. Yeah, you know, a lot of people got the black Jesus <coughs> now. You know, a lot of people I know got the black Jesus right Because the Lord is black, man. See, that basic knowledge, gotta, we got to push that. See, if everybody knew that, we wouldn't even have to tackle that. We wouldn't have to say Jesus is black. Because you know what a joke that he is. Because Jake is so sweet. You got to cry and Spirit, man. See, when you're in the spirit, man, you can read people, man. You can talk about the discernment of spirits. I think it might be Revelation 20 and 7. Oh, when uh, uh, the fire for a thousand years? When it be loose? That long? It says, uh, Uh, let me 
me see. Yeah, let me have verse 8. When it's, uh, this is, uh, uh, Revelation 20 and 8. And shall go out to deceive the nations, which are the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. The number of whom is as the sand of the sea. <coughs> you read it? And they went up to the brethren of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and beloved the city. And fire came down from the Most High out of the heaven and devoured them. Ooh, that's that third world's war. Read on. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented today and night forever and ever. That's some nuclear missiles. See what I'm saying? That's those nuclear missiles, man, that the scripture talking about. I was looking for another scripture. Um, uh, let me look for it real quick. It goes into what we are going into. I'd like to read this one. Revelation 12, 16. That's what I mean. Revelation 12 and 8. I need 21 8. 12, 16, read that. Read further up. He says 12 and 16? Yeah, read a little further up. Okay, Revelation chapter 12, verse 13. And when a dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he, pers he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. Who's the woman? Israel. Who's the man child? Yahweh Shai. Started with the Romans persecuting us, which they back here today, known as NATO and America. Read on. And, the, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle uh -huh. that she might fly into the wilderness. And the wilderness that we fled into was Africa. Read on. Into her place where she was, where she is nourished for a time, a time and half a time for the face of the serpent. Right, and we stayed there for what, like 15, when we went into Africa, we stayed there for like 1,500 years and then what happened? We got sold by the serpent at that time after that. That's what I said, time, a time and a half a time. Read on. And the serpent cast out his mouth, water as a flood. What's the water that the serpent cast out? Lies, man. Jesus is a white man. Angels are white. The Byzantine Empire, white men. Lying about, and they don't even bring out half the inventions that our people uh, brought to light, man. See, that's the lies. That's the water that came out of his mouth. Read on. <clears throat> As the flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And he did carry us away for a certain time period. Read on. And the earth helped the woman. The earth helped the woman. Hi, with all the artifacts. Because there's more art evil artifacts on this side of the world than any place, man. That's why they found the, um, the Ten Commandments over there in Mexico. But it took a picture of it upside down in a paleo -Hebrew. Okay? And they found other Hebrew artifacts, I believe, over there in Ohio as well. And that's where we got the books. Russian icons, man. Nature knows no color line. That's the earth helping the woman. Okay, helping us know our history, man. And that we're the sons of the sun. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth. And swallowed up the flood with the dragon cast out of his mouth. Right, because they can howl by how I had mercy on us. They get Hosea said to us. Hosea had mercy on us, man. The book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 1. Come and let us declare unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. The Lord torn us. You destroyed us. You don't want us to put us in captivity. But now it's time for us to repent, man. That's what Scripture said. He will heal us. Okay? And the main healing is being delivered. So you don't have to get shot down no more or harassed, man. Okay? Or eat this bullshit food. Alright? Or pay them bullshit taxes. Right? The Lord going to deliver us from that. Read on. He has smitten and he will bind us up. Uh huh? And he's binding us right now. That's when we got the 12 tribes sign. Judah and Israel. That's us being binded and coming back together. 
as one man. And all these people here are going to battle peace on the other nations real soon. Real soon, man. Maybe a Latino police shooting real soon. And then these people here, they're going to realize that they all facing the same shit. And that's when the most high go all hell or all out race war going to begin, man. And a white man going to get, he going to lose this one. He going to lose, man. Read on. And two days, will he revive us? And we in the two days. What's the two days? A day is a thousand years. That's why they said the year 2000, the Lord is coming back. We in that time now, man. Okay? We in the beginning of the third day, because the two days already passed, 2000. Since the Lord, the, the end of days started when Yahweh Shai went back to the Father. That's when it really begun. We at the latter end of that. Okay? We're past the two days into the third. Read on. And he will rise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Uh-huh. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord is going forth to prepare as as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. Right. So we in that time now, man. Okay. The Lord is binding us, in, binding us up. Now it's time for brothers. You know we've been out here edifying, condemning, cursing people out. But it's, the main thing is you're repenting, man. And do that's in the knowledge. You gotta examine yourself to see if you in the faith, okay? And never fall short, man. Don't put anything before you have Hashem Yahshua, man. Because the Most High say He a jealous power. And when all hell break loose, you are gonna want the Lord to be on your side, man. Get Romans eight thirty three. The Book of Romans at the eight verse thirty three. Who shall lay any? Sorry, who shall lay anything? The charge of the most high elect. There you go with the word elect again. So it ain't about the nation, man. It's about the elect waking back up. Read on. It is the power that justifies it. Who is he that commanded it? Commanded it? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of the most high, who also maketh intercessions for us. Have a shine. Why are you praying to Mary and um, uh, uh, the angels? The Lord make intercession for you, man. He's a mediator. Keep reading. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl or sword? Nothing, man. Nothing's supposed to separate you. I Meaning, no matter what you go through, you're supposed to still follow Yahweh Shai, the Father and the Son. Like Job said, though he slay me, yet I will still serve him. That's the powerful scripture. Keep reading. It. it says, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are killed all the day long, man. Spiritually, demons, jobs, you know, you have a woman, you have to have kids. That neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Nor things to come. Alright, the evil events is about to come, man. None of that could separate us from Yahweh Shemyashah, man. If we stay steadfast and endure, okay? It's all about in, in, endurance.
It's all about your hour shot. This is what we're waiting for right now, John. And there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world and have become the kingdoms of our Lord. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord. Read. And of his Christ, he shall reign forever and ever. And ever and ever and ever, man. We age after age after age after age, man. And guess who's going to be joined hands with it? Give me Romans 8, 16. Romans 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Keep reading. And the children, they're heirs. Then we're what? They're heirs. We're heirs. Read on. The heirs of the Most High. We're heirs with the Most High. Read. A joint heir, heirs. So your house shy gonna rule forever and ever, but the scripture says the elect will be joint heirs. We gonna rule too. Me and Yahweh Shai saying, listen, everything was promised to me under earth, under heaven, everything for what he did to the children of Israel. Read Revelation the fifth chapter. But he said, I love the elect so much that you guys gonna be joint heirs with me. Keep reading. And if uh, it's so true that we suffer with him. So we gotta suffer. If you wanna reign with the Lord, you gotta suffer with it, man. So with that, our camera's about to die, man. With that, man, we're gonna close it out. We're gonna say, all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, for giving us the strength, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to come out here to do His work every week, Lord willing, and to give us the faith to endure and be a part of the effect, man. And give double honors to the elders of GMS that, that teach and rule well, that sacrifice their time for the elect's sake. And of course, the other Akim out there pushing this truth. The Yahabah Shimei HaShav is with you Akim as well, man. And to other demons out there, two-thirds, the white man, the other nations. And of course, America, death and destruction, man. Seven times over, man. When the Most High start killing more you niggas, man. Or more to kind of choke your ass out to the spirit world. Because you ain't right. Okay, you ain't right, man. Alright, with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.